All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with another experiment. And today's experiment is involving the liquid stringer medium. Now we're using this with our powdered frit. Today we're using chocolate opal, chestnut brown opal, and marigold opal. Now this is what a finished sample piece looked like. I am uh, creating this project actually for a custom light fixture, but so this is actually my final sample piece here. I have coated it with some almond powder frit, fired that. This is a piece of double thick, so a little thicker than your regular three mil. And I'm going to flip it over. This is gonna give it a little bit of depth as I'm firing my piece because it gives it that thickness of clear between where I dusted the almond and where I'm about to lay my pattern. So today, we're gonna first mix these. We're gonna use a sponge to get this material on here. That's how I created this effect. I'm going to quickly grab my mask and then we'll begin. All right, now I'm, as I'm adding this, I just kind of go for a little bit here first. And then we can add as we go from there. So I don't like it too chunky because obviously if I'm sponging it on, I can't have it quite that way. So I hope I have enough liquid stringer. There we go. So see, I kind of like it as a goopy texture. You can pick the texture that you want, but I'm going for hmm, kind of like pudding. It's probably a good way to describe it. Any more and it's gonna be too liquid, so I'm gonna stop there. That one. Okay. Now let's mix up our chocolate. putting like texture on there, okay? And last but not least, oops, mix these, our marigold. Perfect. Yeah. Even that we might want. Just a little bit more. All right, we have our mixtures. take off our mask now and so this is kind of again what I'm going for and we'll kind of see how it how it flows Okay. 
watch this and then we'll continue. there don't want to nitpick too much you just kind of want to look make sure it looks like a decent amount I might want to add a little bit more this yellow Satisfied with that. So we'll go ahead and put it in our kiln and fire it. Thanks so much for watching another experiment. Uh, as always, if you'd like to see the kiln schedules that I'm using uh, and be able to ask any questions and get advice as you're creating your own masterpiece, please subscribe to our Patreon. You're going to find that at homeglassfusing.com. You can find the link through there. Um, also on our YouTube description, you can find that and please subscribe so that you can see all our coolest, newest experiments and even comment to see if your experiment could be featured next. All right, everybody, so here are the results of our last experiment with the liquid stringer and using a sponge to dab it on uh, a mixture of the powdered frit to get it finished. So check it out, turned out pretty cool. And actually this is a custom order that I have for a customer um, and they will be mounted panels on a light fixture. So thanks for watching this experiment. Uh, and after learning a little bit, um, kiln schedule is in the description uh, if you're wondering how, how I full fused it, standard full fuse. Now every kiln's a little different, uh, but before, you know, I was trying to figure out the Patreon and what I really learned is that all the content's available to you. If you want to support the Patreon, that really helps me just bring you better videos um, as well as upgrade the studio as we go. So with that being said, check out the Patreon page and see the cool things you can get because I am offering 
discounts on the spiraled cane and other materials for you artists at home that you might want to use in your kiln.